we come back with natural remedies which are very good for sensitive skin like mine and also for extreme dry skin because these things has no chemicals on it no preservation no alcohol and no fragrance in it they are just pure natural like i have in my hand now shea butter this shea butter there's no thing that will irritate me in it when i use it on my face especially because of my sensitive skin at the same time my dry face so this i'm going to go about like this you see how much moisture is in it and the oil also maybe you can see so i'm going to go about it like this you see it has made it. this is why i choose this natural shea butter you got here also cocoa butter just to show you in case the area you are living in you might find things like this the only problem i have with it is that in winter one finds it so difficult to melt it like what i have in my hand it has started melting a little bit because we have here now in uh, summer but normally in winter it's very difficult to melt but come to think of it this one i will choose because the fat in it is a little bit lighter lighter than the fat in this one because the lighter the gun oil you use the easier it is for it to absorb in your face or skin so this is it it matters so fast because we have um summer in winter you f we find it so difficult to melt it in hand since it comes like this naturally it's not treated because if it was treated it could have been like cream so this is natural cocoa butter you can use this if you can get it wherever you are it's better to use because of how tiny and it's moisture also then the choice is yours to choose which one is better for you and how easily you can get it because this hardly come by when it's finished in stock in our shop it's hardly for us to get it again that's why it's better to use then instead this uh, shea butter because you can always get shea butter especially here in germany this so i'm going to show you how i'm going to use this shea butter and other things to exfoliate my face and now i'm going to start with me wiping off this um, makeup out of my face i use this baby jelly to wipe up my makeup because it has also no alcohol no irritation on my face when i use it so i do it just like this i rub it in my hand and i go with it like this. like i'm going to rub it Just like I'm rubbing it on my on my body. Exactly the way I rub it on my body. Just how I'm going to rub it now. They may be scrubbing on it a little bit more than when I rub it on my face. This is it. And I will go here. I need to wipe this first before I start rubbing the water on my face. Put my mascara. Oh, go ahead with it. I rub it. This is restless. So rubbing it on my eye area doesn't really bother me because it just just like I said, I'm so accustomed to it. Since I hardly use any cleanser at all to clean my face, this will go about me. So this um, Vaseline has made it almost all the makeup that is my face. Then I'll go about like this. Then I'm going to show you. This is it. Turn the other so I can show you. Hold up. I have almost it's my hand <laughs> it's like the home then i'll go again with the baby jelly second time i'm taking as much as this can also take a little because this is the second time yeah. see, it's, can you believe it you see how less i have now to come to compare with what i had before this was what i used before just compare the difference of how this thing can clean so I'll go. Everything must not be expensive. 
everything must not be so big now before you achieve your aim for people like us who don't have much you see this is what i use it won't even be like you use anything no hard chemical not on your face just just take a look at how this thing this lip we clean your face then you know, don't need to start making worrying about what chemical have i put on my face this i have in my hand is tcb these are the kind of soap i will use to do this exfoliation because today my face is going to go through a process it's not like normal days so i will use something like toilet soaps antiseptic on my face to wipe it so that i don't put any harsh chemical on my face my face will be a little bit calm it's irritating better for me the how dry how sensitive my skin is to make it mild to go everything easy mild on my face on a day like this so i'm using the soap so so i soak Olive oil, one can go with it instead of, instead of looking for another kind of chemical to use and then remove the dead cells on your face. So that's why I will go instead taking a mild oil, a moisturizing lotion, go around it myself the way I want instead of uh, forcefully removing anything out of my face. It's all about you removing all these dead cells off your skin so i will use this kind of method i use to do it and this i'm about to show you this oil i take two times two times of this oil this is olive oil because this oil is light i want to take another oil that's a little bit thicker in a way to have something like a thicker over my face palm oil in Africa, mostly in Europe land, I've seen a witness, even a woman came here to, to bath my child. I wanted her to explain to me why you need to use palm oil. There's dating on the baby face, her body. Why would you think that this oil is the perfect thing to use and clean off dating? And she explains all the two, which I witness and I believe since then. I've been using this palm oil, even without the olive oil, to exfoliate my face. Because this palm oil is one of the oil that the fat in it is much than most of other oil. So this oil will clean off any bit out of your face, the palm oil, more than any other thing you can imagine simply because of the fat in it and nothing washes out dead cells nothing washes out anything that is um, hanging on something that is dry that you need to peel off that you need to uh, remove it's just like you having a bunch and they say rub vaseline on it pour oil on it put any kind of oil it's going to do, be like it cleans it off so this is my choice this palm oil when i think i need to remove the cells from my face this is it even some europeans can agree to this you remember in africa also we have what we call palm kernel this palm or kernel comes from where the palm oil come from also the palm kernel oil we use most of these things we use also might find palm oil or palm kernel oil in it so it doesn't make any difference as long as this your oil is natural it's 100 percent natural not uh, mix with preservation or mix with other oil and things like that you're sure that this oil come naturally 100 percent from your village or where it's produced then you can know that this is a better oil so when you scrub this on your face you have dry skin you can also use this if you have um, a dark and you need something complexion on your on your skin i'm not saying the oil is bleaching it's not bleaching so if you also fair it's for all skin type you can use it well, like most people have dry skin whenever you see that there are dead cells on your skin your skin is making like it has a um, shoopiness and uh, dandruff then this is perfect for you to use so i work on it like this for a few minutes three to five minutes 
I get it. It's good. Because after using this on your baby skin, the baby you just gave back to, you're going to see how smooth, how all does this on the body of the baby that's coming, that is not easily going out. You're going to see how they're going to be wiped up after you add soap to this to wash it out. You're going to see it. Try it and confirm what I say. Going to see how smoother and softer your face will be. This texture of your skin is going to look like. So I choose today to make this home remedy. I <laughs> you know in your mind you might think it is going to hang on your body forever. It's not like that. And you get used to it. It's not smelly, just natural. 100% palm oil. If you need, you can ask me also where to get one. In case you're living here in Germany. It's almost gone. Then I will wash. I've done this now to make sure if the oil we are gone or not. I will try to make it like this. This is what I got. Even when you have rest of the oil here, it doesn't matter. Palm oil is not so bad. It's not even bad at all. If it's hanging anywhere on your face, that's just to proof. That is gone. I have this. This here. So it's clean. At the end, I will rub this on my face, the shea butter. That's what I will use today as a cream after this exfoliation today. Make sure it's like warm. If you want this face warm in the hand, yeah. To get this oil and fat in it very light. In a way it doesn't close your pores. I got so this is it. The rest of my hand. Like when you think your skin is sensitive, it's dry, extremely dry, or you want to moisture your skin. This is also another way to moisture your skin so that the way it feels you way. Like how soft it has become because of the, all this oil you have supplied. So this is all about it today, how I go about mine. If you are complexion skin, it doesn't matter. You're bleaching, you're lightening, it doesn't matter. It's also a way of you supplying enough moisture to your skin. If you're sensitive skin, you can do it this way because all this doesn't have chemical. There's even another oil I forgot to show you. This one here, almond oil, it's also very good. This almond oil is written here, virgin extract almond oil. You can also use, it also belongs to this kind of oil that has no chemical i know someone who is using it it's also very good if you can add it to your cream you can use it on daily basis it's also very good like that i hope you enjoyed this video you like and comment please subscribe to my channel for more details on this i will show you new things each time there are new products or the creams we have already in the shop i will show you what they will use them for and how if it's good for your skin or not you can always keep trying one day you find the perfect thing you need to use and care for your skin and it's always good to keep trying because if you don't try you won't come to the conclusion of to say this is better for me and this not and you would also be able to have an alternative in case you don't find one because here in europe sometimes it's difficult for us to find the particular one we want at a particular time this is why i always have option if i'm not using this i use this if i don't have that out it's always good to have an option Thank you for being with me today, for watching my video, and I hope to see you next time in my next video. Thank you. Yeah. Get to see you next time. Bye.